Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot Reading. All Signs love Tarot Reading. All Signs love reading. This is a love reading for the collective. A collective love reading that if you are here... You're meant to find, you're meant to see. This is a timeless reading. So when you get here is when you get here. Let's see what's going on with the person who is coming through here today. Is it your person? Their feelings for you, your feelings for them. What's on everybody's mind? Is anyone making a move? What's happening in the connection? Let's take a look at the energy coming in. It's the Five of Cups in the Hierophant. Wow. Mars and Scorpio energy. Somebody is having a lot of regret. This is somebody who's missing you. Look, they're looking at the cups. Knocked over. So behind our owl, which by the way, whoa. Well, I just wanted to show the death card in reverse. Stagnancy, look, the fool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's one of these readings today. Here we go. Yep, is this the chariot in reverse? It is. It's been stagnant in terms of commitment, coming back together. What, what's going on here? Because that's literal stagnation in the movement. The death card, a lot of Scorpio energy actually interesting Scorpio here with our five of cups the death card of course it's in reverse so it's also somebody's ego is here the fool Aquarius and Uranus energy in the chariot cancer and moon energy of course so stagnation in that what I wanted to say was you can see here with the two cups behind our owl so this is a Scorpio energy Mars and Scorpio and just a FYI <laughs> you probably know if you watch my readings that owls are Scorpios as well it's just a, a lot of emotional energy and there's two cups behind here which is bringing in the two of cups Venus and Cancer energy yeah the fact that there's still a connection between you but right here in front, the Three of Cups knocked over. So it's either really recent and or it's just very emotional, which I think that's the case. A lot of emotions here. And the Cups are Mercury and Cancer energy, the Three of Cups. Mercury, of course, around communication. So it's an emotional, perhaps, conversation or ending. For some of you, it may even have been in person. But what is clear here is this is somebody who does regret leaving you feeling like they don't love you. So it's not, that's not the case. I don't think that's the case. The Hierophant, this is a card of commitments, contracts, partnerships. Yeah, and it's divine masculine energy, Taurus energy. So it's definitely something around today's, and actually this was here. It's something around your connection with them, of course. But I'm wondering, the Hierophant can be connected to, you could say like expectations, somebody like sticking to what other people want from them. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's people in their life or we, we're talking just in, ingrained in their mind, you know, somebody, yeah, generational, that sort of thing. Cultural, religious differences, social status. It's not always that. It is coming through, so I think it's the case for some of you. But this is definitely a validation of the no contact, no communication, and or in separation. I just want to mention that your All Signs Tarot readings, the playlists, I believe I need to probably change the playlist title, but I believe I'm calling it Messages from Your Person. Love Tarot readings. That is linked below in the description. It's really easy to get to, as well as the playlist tab on the channel. You'll also find all 12 zodiac signs. And if you're on a twin flame journey, I do release weekly twin flame readings. They go pretty in depth. And yeah, there's a lot to choose from. So you'll know where you're led if a reading is for you or not. So feel free to check those out. Let's continue on and see what's going on here. Who's coming through 
and what's coming through. Five of Pentacles and the Empress, okay. Yeah, so you've been waiting on somebody for a while. Five of, of Pentacles energy, Mercury and Taurus, I mean, it's definitely a validation of the not communicating of something that happened here. You can see both parties are hurt in this energy. In fact, one of the owls is sort of looking over here, trying to get the other owl's attention, like communication. Let's see. The Empress. I, I like this because, well, it's divine feminine energy. The Empress is connected to both the sacral chakra I feel and the heart chakra I love. And it's around some timing energy, I feel, and it's somebody who is, is wanting to come in and be honest, like emotionally honest, emotionally open, emotionally available. This is a really strong feeling for me of somebody that, yeah, wants to talk about things. They're definitely in a lot of regret and they definitely left you feeling, yeah, there's an abandoned energy like that they don't love you. All right, let's see what else is going on. Thank you for liking today's video, for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. Let's see what else is coming in. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Yeah, look, Seven of Swords, a runner. Ace of Wands, delay in the return, delay in the truth. Nine of Wands and reverse the Strength card. Oh yeah, the Magician. Now the Fool is back in reverse here with Justice waiting, oh my gosh, on the truth. And uh, some cards just came off a deck that I have here. Three of Cups, there it is. Knight of Swords, yeah, there's a lot to be said here and these are yours and that's yours. The Knight of Pentacles here too. As this is all happening, these just came in. I have another deck here, another few decks here. Look, the Hierophant is back. It's back in the upright energy, interesting. Here with the Six of Wands in reverse, so a really strong validation in the, the Hierophant energy, which by the way is, the Hierophant is connected to the throat chakra. Communication, I speak. Whoa, <laughs> that was an interesting throat chakra energy that just came through. And what I want to tell you is that is my, it's kind of like, I'm, I'm trying to work this out. Let me think, sort of vocal inflection, I want to say, that just happened. So the Hierophant is back. Again, divine masculine energy, Taurus energy. It's connected here with the Queen of Swords in reverse and also the Six of Wands in reverse, excuse me, Jupiter and Leo energy. It's kind of like, well, they want to come with the truth here. It's around the commitment energy. This is somebody who was definitely careless. We have a runner here, the Seven of Swords. We do have justice here, so coming in with the truth in a balanced energy, yin-yang energy. This is Libra energy. And justice is connected to the heart chakra. So we see with the Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Swords is like my protege to justice. And, and she's in reverse here. Libra ruled by Venus with the full Aquarius and Uranus energy. So definitely somebody not being honest, excuse me, not responding to messages. My throat chakra is going nuts. They, uh, the Five of Pentacles came back in reverse. This minor arcana energy, they want to come back in here and be honest with you. There's a, a really strong delay in it. We saw that with the Death card even coming in and the Chariot. So it could be literal travel for some of you. But a validation here with the Ace of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It's the delay. And... It's here with our Five of Pentacles again, which came back in reverse, which is somebody who's really, this person is really wanting to come in and be honest with you. And I don't know how long the stagnancy has been going on, if this is somebody way far back, but that emotional energy in the Five of Cups, you know, for some of you, it's really recent, but the emotions are still really high. Do you know what I mean? And look, it's here with the Magician in reverse. 
Gemini Virgo energy, Mercury energy. It's like somebody just, well, they had everything that, you know, I guess you could say you have all the tools with the magician, but you don't use them. It's like it could have been so much more. It's like unfulfilled potential energy. I mean, look, and it's leading right up here with the Queen of Cups in reverse, which is the hurtful energy emotionally. Somebody who wasn't speaking the truth, wasn't emotionally available right here with the Seven of Swords, Aquarius and Uranus energy. And a strong validation with the Fool, Aquarius and Uranus energy. So this is somebody here, look, the Strength card right here with the Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands, who really is trying to get the strength to come here with the truth. I mean, look at our major arcanas here. We know what's going on. The Magician in reverse, the Fool in reverse. I mean, that's pretty intense energy, and a lot of that is around the past and energy. And then we have Justice here in the upright in the Strength card, Leo energy. The Strength card is connected to the Heart Chakra. And there's definitely, well, there's a really strong chemistry, I feel like, between you. Sometimes that can be really overwhelming. It's somebody definitely here who wants to communicate. Look, the Three of Cups. They just haven't been. It's been a really long time. There's a lot of regret. I feel like there's an apology. Three of Cups, Mercury, and Cancer energy. So we saw that knocked over in when your reading started. And the Five of Cups, you know, coming in. And here we are. This is a reunion energy. It's a communication. It's Mercury. It's, it's a, around the emotions. It's the cups. It's around love. It's around timing. So whether, if you can see this person, this is, you know, somebody thinking about that. Maybe they didn't show up for something. Maybe they might even still be at something that you know they're going to be at or they could be at. But Mercury is often connected to reading and writing. So SMS, social media, email. And wow, look, yeah. So... It could also just be around a voice message, a phone call, that sort of thing. I want to show you what's coming in here. Okay. This is also wanting to come in. The Empress is coming back. The Four of Pentacles. I haven't let you go. I'm trying to work this out. Sun and Capricorn energy connected here with the Page of Cups in reverse. So... Yeah, Seven of Wands in reverse, Mars and Leo energy also, the Nine of Wands in reverse, Moon in Sagittarius energy. So it's kind of like, well, I'll hear you out energy, like you're just kind of waiting for anything to even change to hear them out. There's something changing with you, I feel like. Maybe it already has, but there is kind of like you could say a recalibration, like an energy shift here. You getting into realignment. This person is as well. They're wanting to definitely communicate. I don't know what the, exactly the fear is and the blocks are. And I have to say, just even with that five, uh, five of cups energy coming in and what is just the energy that's here today, there is an apology here. Look, the higher font is back. It's in reverse. We already have one on the table that came back and the Empress is here. So... Yeah, I just want to show you exactly here this energy of the Empress. Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, again, connected to the heart chakra, can create and grow just about anything. This is somebody who is literally awake in the night, Nine of Swords, Gemini and Mars, the Hierophant in reverse, trying to figure this out, like trying to come here with the truth to you they're not really sleeping at night so this higher font energy again whether this is just around issues with commitment that they had or there's other situations 
Of course, we could even be looking at legal issues or karmic situations with people, family of origin, or again, that energy of cultural, religious differences, social status, something to that effect. It's definitely still in their life, but they're trying to get out of it and they're not sleeping very well. So there's a lot of hurt emotionally between the two of you. Look, the Three of Swords is here. The King of Cups is in reverse. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. So we have both of those energies. Two of Swords in reverse here with the Knight of Pentacles. I want to tell you this Knight has a lot of humility. There's a lot of apologetic energy here within our Knight. You know, and it's a Knight. So taking that, as they say in Ireland, you vote with your feet, like taking a step. Venus and Taurus energy. And again, it really is, there is a, a realignment here going on with this person. Two of Swords in reverse, this indecisive energy. Two of Pentacles is here. Look. So commitment issues, other choices. What is that other Pentacle? One of them is yours. What is the other one? Is it work? Is it another person? What has that been? You know, it's definitely lack of balance. I'll tell you that. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, and Saturn energy. It's like other choices, weighing out some options, which they're indecisive about. Look, here in the Two of Swords in reverse, the Moon and Libra energy. And it's minor arcana energy here, you know, and it's connecting with this major arcana energy of justice, which is the truth coming. And 11 is a master number. It's new beginnings can be coming together energy. And then right on the other end is the fool in reverse. There's kind of like an apathetic energy. So I feel like a lot of this is the past energy. And of course, there's still some current, there's a lot of current energy here too. This person is not really sleeping that great that well they definitely want to get on the path for I, I want to say like everybody just getting some truth out okay temperance is here connected to the heart chakra and archangel michael the angel for strength which we see they're trying to get here in the strength card and archangel michael specifically is connected to the solar plexus chakra i do as well as the throat chakra I speak. So getting everybody on the path to the truth for everybody's highest good, like a happy outcome for everyone, you could say, because there's just a lot of hurt between you. We saw the two of cups in the upright and that five of cups energy. And here we're seeing them in, uh, we're seeing the queen of cups and the king of cups, which is also representing that energy for me of the two of cups in reverse. So it's a validation of the separation. But we're also looking at, well, yeah, the emotional disconnect, the fact that it's just been a long stagnation, there's been a lot of hurt here. And you've been, we're waiting on this person, maybe you're not anymore, there is a recalibration here. But I gotta tell you, if you're going to see them, this is definitely an apology, look, the devil in reverse, Capricorn and Saturn energy. And it's getting out of their ego for that, which is, I feel like a lot of what's going on here, that stagnation, the death card in reverse. And the other thing is what has, aside from their ego, what else has needed to change here? You know, the Hierophant in reverse around other contracts, a location, people, things, what the devil is here. We could be looking at somebody and, and in particular, with some of the energy that's here, we could be looking at somebody that is in some kind of addictive energy. A stagnation around that, just even here with the sun in reverse. It doesn't stay in reverse. This is a temporary energy, you could say. Leo energy. The sun connected to the solar plexus chakra, I do. You know, I mean, this is when you get out of the moon you go here and you start working some things out you know the the conscious energy it's the ego and a new cycle it's in reverse so there's definitely been a really long delay around this conversation with this person 
and whatever these commitment issues are, this is the truth. It's, I got to tell you, it's somebody really emo an emotional truth who's opening up. Definitely wanting to get out of no contact. If you can see this person, it's kind of like they're following you around to talk to you. There's a whole lot to say here. The Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury energy. Like a lot of explaining to do. Look here with our Three of Cups and the Devil in Reverse. So definitely, yeah, some things that you've been wanting to hear for a long time. The Three of Swords is here, which really is a validation both of the no contact, no communication energy. And this nine of swords, look, three of swords and that five of cups energy, somebody who's missing you and, and feeling a lot of regret. I do feel like this past energy, the two of pentacles, the two of swords in reverse, this indecisive energy is something around this person. Like it's kind of like how you got there. The Hierophant in reverse. Page of Pentacles. The student energy, like trying to figure out how to come in here. The Four of Wands in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. The Page of Swords in judgment. Wow. Okay. So they're watching. Our page of swords if you're on social media they're looking if you're connected by a friends and family some of you are they might be looking through their social media or talking to them here's more energy the stuck energy the hermit in reverse mercury and virgo energy and the hermit is connected to the third eye chakra the self-awareness i see you know when you do get that self-awareness you get out of here and you go into the wheel of fortune you communicate. It's been it's just been a really long time since you've communicated with this person. If three of swords, four of wands in reverse. For some of you, the Hierophant in reverse, there was a legal contract here. It's not for everybody, but it, it is a, a long-term energy for me in the partnership. So whether it was legal or not, somebody may have moved out. So I'm kind of like walking away energy from a conversation like some arguing kind of energy what i like with this our last tarot coming in judgment today is it is somebody who really wants there's a lot of like being held accountable energy forgiveness a really strong energy so what happened here i don't feel like i'm privy to exactly what happened but obviously something's going on and this person has been awake and watching three of swords nine of swords page of swords i mean but not acting on it you know not doing anything about it some lack of confidence for sure and we see that with the strength card here look connecting right here to the queen and the king of cups in reverse so the emotional holding the emotional unavailability it's really strong because that's also when in, in Showing us this person, both of those energies in reverse. Emotion, the emotional unavailability is strong. The divine feminine energy in our queen of cups and the divine masculine energy in our king of cups. But it's also telling me that you're both here. You know, and there is a... It's just been a long time. There's a disconnect here. Ten of wands... In reverse, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy, it's like time now. You know, it's just something that's been weighing. I feel like on this person, but just in general, it's some kind of resolution is what I feel like. This doesn't feel to me like reconciliation. It feels more like resolution. Two of, of cups in reverse. Look right here with the three of swords. The separation energy. The nine of wands in reverse. And the three of wands coming in here. Judgment. Yeah, so it's like getting out of no contact, no communication, and or in separation. 
kind of like an impulsive type of energy, so not expecting it, like seeing them at an event or a phone call, something coming in. This is somebody who I feel like wants to make wants to make an apology and it just really feels like some closure for me. This is feeling a lot like closure. The seven of wands like back and reverse. Yeah, there's a strong energy of a realignment here. It's, it's this person too. It's like reassessing past actions, getting priorities straight, taking new ones. So it's somebody who wants to make amends. But it does feel like that's where, maybe that's where it's ending. So the Knight of Swords is back and it's in reverse. Here with the Sun in reverse, the delay of all the things, there's so much left unsaid kind of energy. Three of Wands, Sun and Aries energy. So could be literal travel here. We definitely know we saw that the delay in that with the Chariot in reverse. And the death card in reverse. But that's also a stagnancy in them getting out of their ego to communicate and apologize. And making some big changes around their life. Which it's not really clear that they've made them so much as they want to. It's somebody I feel like you won't be expecting that just kind of reaches out and has. Yeah, has this apology to make. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So the strength card is back. And temperance is also back really strong validation. There is a, a strong chemistry between you, but there's some overwhelming energy too. It's It can be like a lot or it just kind of gets depleted. And that's also the energy here in our queen and our king of cups. But look here, coming here, connected to the heart chakra. Look at their mouth, of course, wide open. This is somebody who really just wants to... It's somebody who need who is needed for a really long time to say say some things to close. I don't know to for some healing for everybody, just getting everybody again on the path to the truth. A happy outcome for everybody, you could say. Temperance are like a mediating energy. It's like meeting in the middle energy. Restoring balance. And again, around the heart chakra, around communication. Here with the strength card. So it's been a long time. You might not be expecting that when you see this person, even what they have to say. It can be that you that, that a, the message or a message is coming in and you it will also be a surprise. It's like a surprise kind of energy communication of somebody coming in. It's like the apology you never thought would come energy. Okay, I just want to bring in a little bit of Oracle. I'm not reading it in reverse. Look, it's exactly that. Ice stagnation. It's melting. There's three cubes here. Timing. And it's melting. It's the lack of communication between you. Everybody's just been, it's just been stagnant. This is communication. It's emotional energy. It's the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and reverse energy. It's like, well, yeah, putting them, I guess you could say back in the upright. Do I think with our Empress here, even our Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant can be commit. You know, it's a card of commitments. Justice coming together, the truth at the Empress, who can grow just about anything. New beginnings. Hello. Do I? <laughs> Camera makes me crazy. I'm not sure where it ended. What I wanted to say is that. There's definitely still some kind of connection here. We saw that in the Five of Cups, you know, feeling that loss, missing you, being having regret, trying to work something out around the commitment energy, holding themselves accountable, coming in here to apologize, be clear and be honest, and 
Archangel Gabriel literally asking, well, what do you want? Make a decision. Get some clarity. Two of Pentacles not making a decision. Weighing them out. Two of Swords in reverse. Being indecisive about it. Coming here with the Knight of Pentacles. With humility, apology. Maybe, yeah, wanting to both work out whatever the situation is or work it out with you. It, it's kind of, I feel like for some of you, it might not be that you even want to anymore. But it's definitely somebody who is finally, finally getting out of the stagnant energy and coming here. Literal, could be literal travel, but also just moving toward you with some truth, with some clarity, with an apology that you would, I think, be happy to hear, but you kind of have, I don't know, maybe gave up waiting for or receiving. My throat chakra is going nuts again. <laughs> the moon what is still hidden here apologies truths yeah i mean the moon look the sun in reverse it's where you go it's the revealing you get out the subconscious energy the conscious the sun shining on the moon dark to light that's in reverse the sun knight of swords is in reverse the stagnation around communication this person page of swords so kind of holding on to this truth for way too long but there's just also an energy here of coming in. Look, heart connection promise. What? Reciprocity, globe totality, and the hermit. Whoa. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> like I said, there's still something here. It's connection to the heart, obviously. Bringing in some lover's card energy. It's right here with the Three of Swords, which we know is where things are. The breakup energy. No contact, no communication. Two of Cups in reverse. Judgment here. And look, there's promise. Reciprocity. For me, this is around communicating. It's around showing up emotionally, speaking the truth. Because that has not been the case with this person. So could it be that there's something more here? Reciprocity, a promise, the heart, the empress, hierophant. Three of cups, justice, knight of pentacles. Yeah, but I, I kind of feel like it's up to the two of you. It's not about, this isn't a clear shot that somebody's coming in here and saying, I'm making a promise now of commitment. You know what I mean? Reciprocity, this is bringing in the six of pentacles, moon and Taurus. It's more like, it's here, the potential is here because it's an unfulfilled potential energy. But some things need to go on still between you. It's like not guaranteed kind of energy. So more validation of the separation, but also where this person has been just doing a lot of thinking. In the night, actually, Nine of Swords, Page of Swords, just even in the sun in reverse in the moon card, it's like a really strong connection to the nocturnal energy. For somebody from, I don't know, it feels like a really far back past for a lot of you that just might surprise you with wanting to, coming in here to take accountability and apologize, but then it maybe reignites something. It's a promise here being made. Around matters of heart, love, the roses, and here's globe totality. This is a world card energy. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. And it's the last energy before you go into the Fool, which is in reverse here. So it is a validation that this might be that missing link you could save, like coming in for resolution. Or this could also go somewhere else. We could be looking at a launch into some kind of future energy, coming back together energy, but it really is dependent on, yeah, this person. The communication, holding accountability, look, the strength card back. So again, a validation of it. It's two here, which is also a really strong validation of the chemistry between you that sometimes the really overwhelming energy between you and the possibility of it's like manifesting something bigger and better kind of energy 
This could go, I feel like this could go in, in any direction. Is this resolution or reconciliation? For some of you, it's resolution. For some of you, it might turn into more. It's just a matter of where are you at, what's going on in this conversation. Because this is a completion energy here in the world card. You know, so it's like having figured out the obstacles, having paid off some karmic debts, we do have justice here. So whether it was somebody connected to some legal stuff and, and another partnership, Three of Swords, Hierophant, and Upright and Reverse, the Empress, we could be looking at contracts that are ending here. And it's not just relationships. It could be a lot of things. Again, legal issues, cultural, religious differences, somebody who's who would need to, you could say, move, literal move, like changing address kind of move or jobs to, uh, to or from, from people, that kind of energy. It's right here in between the heart connection and the promise. So this could also just be around the conversation that you have of promises being made, you could say. But definitely somebody showing up emotionally and that hasn't been for a really long time. And they do have this apology. It's pretty strong. It's all my fault. Yeah. And that devil card in reverse, again, it's ego gone. It's an apologetic energy, but there could also be something in there, you know, that they've changed because it's been a long time that you've been waiting. You have changed me for the better. Yeah. Like it had to be this way. I trust that the universe will bring us together. Temperance, Nine of Swords, the World Card, Heart Connection. I'm still checking up on you. That's the Page of Swords energy there. Our meeting was no accident. Fate and destiny. Knowing that you met for a reason. You're my favorite person. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. Right here with the heart connection. It's really hard living without you. Here in this hermit energy still. That's a lot there. Said, nope, that's not too many. I was stupid to let you go. Pisces energy, by the way, here in this moon energy, also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. Thinking about you keeps me going. I mean, the stagnation, the, the king and the queen of cups in reverse, the moon energy, a lot of that holding back. It's been a long time. I don't know. Might not be expecting this. I was a complete jerk. Okay. I'm captivated by you. You have changed me for the better. I wish I could come and take you away. It's going right here on the heart connection in the world card. I messed up so bad. We are a faded connection. I trust that the universe will bring us together. You are hard to resist. I got to tell you that strength card, two of them there, there is a really, there is a strong chemistry, physical connection, longing, I guess you could say. Why do the cards all look crooked? <laughs> it's kind of making me crazy. Songs are constantly being played that remind me of you. My stomach drops when I wake and realize you are still gone. After all this time, I'm still into you. Okay. A tarot closet. Love messages. It's really hard living without you. That's the second time that's come in. You have changed me for the better also. I was just thinking that. You have changed me for the better. You have changed me for the better. Hmm. Coming in here with everything that they have to say has, has something that really big you've been waiting for to change. Are they coming in with that change now? Is it going to change for some of you that, you know, that it wouldn't necessarily be just resolution and moving on, that maybe it opens it up again? 
Please forgive me. There defi there's definitely an apology here. So many songs remind me of you. So that's coming in again. To mus a musical connection. S songs are constantly being played that remind me of you. So somebody listening to music. I'm afraid you will reject me. That feels like a valid fear. Don't ever change. You are never far from my mind. Can you feel my love? That, that heart connection card that's kind of buried down there. You are my person. I reread our messages. Everything reminds me of you. We are soulmates. I miss you. Do you miss me too? I'm trying to send you a message. That's strong. Again, it could also be like communicating in person or even a phone call. You know, it's not necessarily a message. Although that is pretty strong, you know, around maybe a text message, SMS, social media. It's, it's extra strong, I guess you could say. I stare into your eyes in photos. I'm still checking up on you, Page of Swords. Yeah, <laughs> it's just really clear. Okay, this is your last channeled love message that's coming in. Let's take a look. I was stupid. I was stupid to let you go. I was a complete jerk. Yeah. Do you know who this is? Are you expecting them? Is it going to be a surprise? Beautiful soul, that is your reading today. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you so much. I'm sending you love as always. Looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Thank you for liking today's video, for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. Until then.